Recently, you guys sent me a ton of awesome music at the P.O. Box, so today I figured we would just sort of check out all these beautiful records. Hey friends, welcome back to Vinylize. I'm Jarrett New, and sorry I've been away for a little bit, but I had a lot of music to sort through for this video. So as I said, we're gonna be diving into all of the awesome stuff that you guys sent me over the last few months, and we're also gonna run through things a little bit faster today, so that way we can cover more ground. Now, one quick thing before we start, I'm trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram, and I'm only like about 3,000 short so far, so if only a teeny tiny fraction of the awesome people people watching this video right now were to pause it and quickly follow me on there at Vinylize, we'd reach that goal in no time. So do me a solid, follow me, and then drop a comment down below this video letting me know you did that, and I will personally respond with a huge thank you because you're really helping me out, and I appreciate it. Now, speaking of thank yous, I also want to thank these awesome friends who sent me all the cool stuff we're going to be seeing in today's video. I really appreciate how y'all took the time out of your day to mail me all of this great music. And if you're watching this video right now and you also want to share some cool music my way, the P.O. Box is right here. All right, so let's dive in. So the first one we got here is the EP Sugar by the band Winona Bleach. So thank you guys for sending this over. Now the record is on solid green vinyl. It spins at 45 RPM. There's seven tracks total. And overall the sound is catchy, dreamy, alternative pop punk with a touch of shoegaze as well. It's got kind of a dreamy teen angst feel to it. So if you're into that, I would definitely recommend this band Winona Bleach. All right, next up, we got some incredible Sade records from Rod Rogers. So these are the albums Promise, Diamond Life, Stronger Than Pride, and Soldier of Love. They're all on black vinyl. They spin at the standard 33 and one third RPM, but the music is anything but standard. In fact, this music is incredibly beautiful. As you guys already know, if you've been watching the channel for a while, I'm a huge fan of Sade's work and every song she sings just turns to gold. I mean, she could literally sing the phone book and I would want to hear that song. Also, as a side note, do they still make phone books? If they do, let me know down in the comments. Anyways, yeah, her stuff is pretty amazing. So if you like smooth R&B music, you're gonna love Sade. Now, just to let you know, we're also gonna be coming back to Rod several times in the course of this video because he sent so many records. So Rod, if you're watching, thank you so much. All right, now moving on, we got the album Revenge of the Crash Tones from Sam Witwer. So thank you, Sam, for sending this over. It's got this really cool Indiana Jones looking cover here on the front, which I really like. And the record itself is on black vinyl with 12 tracks total. And the overall sound is wild, energetic, spontaneous, spontaneous experimental rock with great bass lines and guitar riffs that just seem to change and evolve at a breakneck pace. So it's definitely unlike anything I've ever heard before and it's very original stuff. Also in general, I think it's really cool that you produce this record yourself, Sam, and I'm really glad that this channel has helped you in your vinyl record journey. So keep spinning. All right, now the next one we got here is from Pavel and it's the album Wasteland by the Polish band River. Riverside. So first of all, thank you, Pavel, for sending this rare pressing of the album, and thanks for watching the channel. So the record itself is on deep yellow and black marbled vinyl. There's nine tracks total, and being that this is the first time I've ever heard this band, I'm definitely impressed. Overall, their sound is prog rock metal awesomeness. It's got killer riffs, great vocals, and overall, this kind of beautiful, sullen feeling to it. Some passages feel kind of sad, but in a a beautiful way, kind of like that Sarah McLaughlin rendition of Gloomy Sunday. So if you like prog rock or really just good rock music in general, I would recommend this album. All right, the next two records are from Scott Inman, and they are the albums Their Satanic Majesty's Request by the Rolling Stones and Moving Pictures by Rush. So for the Stones record, it's got this really cool lenticular cover, which is um, kind of 
trippy to look at. It's got 10 tracks, it's on black vinyl, and the overall sound is pure psychedelic rock. So in that sense, the music kind of matches the cover here. It's creative, right brain type of music. So it's good for thinking, working on creative stuff, and basically just good for your imagination. Now the Rush album is also on black vinyl, has seven tracks total, and overall the sound is energetic, hard rock, 80s, head bobbing, guitar wailing kind of music. And it also features a good mix of instrumentation and synthesizers. So if you like 80s music, you can't go wrong with Rush. So thank you, Scott, for sending these records over. And also, thanks again for that Oreo turntable. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, be sure to watch this video right up here. All right, so moving on to the next one, we got the album Kind of Blue by Miles Davis. And this is the Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab version, which was sent to us from Rod Rogers. So yet again, thank you so much, Rod, for this incredible album. Now, if you guys remember in my last Mail Time video, Rod was kind enough to send me this exact same same album, but it was a sealed copy. And out of respect for such a rare collector's item, I just kept it sealed and I did not play the music. Well, being a true gentleman and a scholar, Rod sent us yet another copy that's already been open so we could play it, which is really awesome. Now with the album, we get two vinyl records, both spin at 45 RPM, and the overall sound quality is phenomenal. This is legendary jazz at its finest. I mean, it's Miles Davis, so if you're a big fan of jazz, you already know his name. And as I've said many times, I'm a big fan of all of the music pressed by Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab because they are the gold standard when it comes to vinyl records. All right, now next up, we got three albums from Needle Juice Records. The first one is the People's Choice Music on blue and yellow pinwheel vinyl. The second is Mind Spring Memories on yellow, pink, and green striped vinyl. And the last one is Goodbye My Four Track from Logan Whitehurst and the Junior Science Club on green and orange colored vinyl. So with the People's Choice Music, apparently in 1996, they did a survey about which kinds of music people liked and which kinds of music they didn't like. And then they used all of that data to create the most wanted song and the most unwanted song. So those are the only two tracks on this record. There's one track per side. And as you can imagine, one sounds very pleasing to the ears and the other is a confusing mess. But that's what they were going for. So good job, I guess. Now, moving on to the next album, Mind Spring Memories, this one was actually my favorite in the bunch. It only has four tracks total, but it's got this airy, dreamy, fuzzy vaporwave sound that I really responded to. It's very nostalgic, and it's the kind of music that just makes you smile and think back to a simpler time in your life. Now, moving on to the last album, Goodbye My Four Track. This one has two records, both spin at 45 RPM, and the overall sound is kind of nerdy, funny, alternative rock, and folk. So if you like bands like Daniel Johnston and Kevin Hearn, you're gonna like this one as well. Now, the next album we got here is actually a cassette called Space Cadet, which was sent to us from Jacqueline Rose. So thank you so much, Jacqueline, for sending this over and for watching the channel. So the album itself, is on a dark pink cassette, and the overall sound is basically instrumental, short, minimalist textures, which revolve around the theme of space. And I wouldn't call it ambient, but it's still good creative thinking music for just letting your mind float. So I thought it was pretty cool. All right, now the next one we got is actually an EP called My Familiar from the band Those Things, which was sent to us from Jeff Spears. So Jeff, thank you so much for sending this one over. Now the EP comes on a light teal blue, seven inch, 45 RPM record. There's two tracks total, one on each side, and the overall sound is hard rock with a touch of punk and grunge. So if you're into punk and grunge, you might wanna check out those things. All right, now the next one is also another 45. Figured we would talk about them at the same time. And it's a Sade record with the songs Smooth Operator on one side and Spirit on the other. So you guys already know how much I love Sade. I just mentioned it in this video and I don't need to keep harping on and on about you know how awesome her music is. But more importantly, I wanted to give a proper thank you to the person who sent this to me. However, he only put his name down as Dawn. So Dawn, if you're watching this, I I really appreciate this record. 
thanks for sending it. All right, the next package we got is actually just some really cool stickers from record shops around the Austin, Texas area. So these were sent to us from Chuck Garza, AKA Chuck from Chicago on YouTube. So thank you so much, Chuck, for sending these over. And if you guys remember a few years ago during the renovation nightmare, I was living in San Antonio for a little bit and I was actually able to visit these two right here, End of an Ear and Waterloo Records. But I still need to check out these other ones right here like Breakaway Records, Records and Antone's record shop right there. And these two both by Piranha Records. So maybe when I'm in town again, I'll check those out. Thanks so much, Chuck. All right, the next two albums we got here are Portrait in Jazz and the Complete Village Vanguard Recordings 1961 by Bill Evans. Now, both of these incredible albums were once again sent to us from Rod Rogers. Dude, thank you so much. And these are both breathtakingly beautiful. As I said a minute ago, if you're a fan of jazz, Miles Davis and Bill Evans are probably already on your radar. But that being said, these are both legendary albums in gorgeous box sets and they sound as perfect as vinyl can get. So if you haven't discovered Bill Evans yet, you definitely gotta check this guy out. All right, now the next one we got is the compilation album Dream Electric on bright red and white splatter vinyl, which was sent to us by Electric Dream Records. So in addition to how beautiful the artwork is, we get 17 tracks from lots of different musicians and the overall sound of this record is synth-based rock and dance music. It's got thumping beats, wailing guitars, and basically a kind of futuristic synthwave sound. It feels like music that would easily fit right into the next Tron movie, so it's pretty cool. All right, the next album we got is the self-titled Mad Villainy from the musical duo MF Doom and Mad Lib. And this record was sent to us by George Carson. So thank you so much, George, for sending this one over. Now we get two records with this album. Both are on black vinyl. There's 22 tracks total. And the overall sound is rap and hip hop, which I'll be honest, is not really my area of expertise. I'm more of a trip hop, more Chiba, Portishead kind of guy. But that being said, this album did have some good beats in it. And I also liked how they kept switching things up by overdubbing sound effects into the mix and sampling sound bites from all over the place. So overall, I thought it was a pretty creative album. All right, the next package we got is from Vinyl Post. So basically this is a company that delivers compilation records and vinyl record postcards like this one in the mail every month. So this time they sent us two postcard records and the first one is called Crazy Fear Love by Johnny Utah. It spins at 33 RPM and the sound of this song is kind of indie pop and it's pretty catchy. Now the second postcard record we got is called Insufficient Funds by the band A Place to Wash My Hands, which also spins at 33 and has a positive indie pop sound with nice drums and a good bass line. Also another thing I should mention in general is that with postcard records, because of their thin design, they're kind of like the flexi discs and they have a lot of surface noise when you go to play them. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now moving on to the records, we got three three of them, and these are volumes one, two, and three. So volume one is on clear vinyl with a splotch of blue in the center, volume two is on black vinyl, and volume three is on bright yellow vinyl. And the overall sound on all three of these records is chill, relaxing, happy, peaceful indie pop kind of music. So it's positive and it's productive kind of music that I think would fit perfectly in a nice coffee shop. It was very pleasant to listen to. All right, now the next record we got is the album Cody by Joyce Manor, which was sent to us from Andy Murrow. So thank you, Andy, for sending this one over. So the record is on black vinyl. It has 10 tracks total, and the overall sound is punk rock, alternative, head bobbing goodness. Also, just as a side note, I really like that the album cover here has a dog chewing on a mannequin head. It's kind of uh, funny and it really gets your attention. All right, now the next record we got is the album Transmissions by the band Star Set, which was sent to us from Brian Willis. So thank you so much, Brian, for sending this one over. And uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna play side D because that side has no grooves and is reserved only for the artwork, which does look really cool. So the album itself comes on two black vinyl records. And of course, like I just said, there's only three sides. The fourth one is artwork. There's 13 tracks total and the overall 
sound of this music gives you an epic, larger-than-life feeling when you listen to it. Basically, it has a heavy emphasis on alternative rock mixed with a little bit of emo and based around themes of space. And it's also energetic and very well produced, so I like this one. All right, the next two records we got are also from Rod Rogers, and they are two different versions of the album The Night Fly by Donald Fagan. So we get the standard version and the deluxe Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab version. And I don't know about you, but whenever I see that original master recording across the top of a record, my eyes just kind of glaze over because I already know it's going to sound awesome. And both of these records are great indeed. The overall sound of this music is funky, fun, jazz fusion with good vocals. It's classy, it's lively, it has good instrumentation, and it's just overall really awesome. So if you're a fan of jazz fusion, this is definitely one to listen to. All right, next up we got the EP Something Different from Natanya 2 by Moti Drawer on CD. So thank you so much Moti for sending this one over and for watching the channel. So it's got five tracks on here, and the overall sound is bluesy with a lot of soul. It has a real southern cadence Asian influence to it, kind of Mississippi Delta blues style with that slide guitar, which I really liked. So overall, you're doing a great job, Moti and keep up the good work. All right, next up, we got five records from Sean Tulin. So thank you so much, Sean, for sending these over. The first one is a self-titled album by Tongues, and it's on hot pink and white marbled vinyl with 12 tracks total, and its overall sound is fast-paced, energetic, indie garage rock. Basically, it sounds exactly like what you would think a band named Tongues would sound like. Now, moving on to the second album, this one is called 14 Carat God by Panther. It's on black vinyl, has 18 tracks, and the overall sound of this one is quirky, rhythm-based alternative rock. It's very stripped down, and to be honest, it's a little chaotic. Now, getting to the third album, this one is actually a compilation called The Greatest Hits of the Century, Volume 3 and 4, 50s and 60s Music. The record itself is on black vinyl, there's 16 tracks, and the overall feel of this music is pretty much vintage oldies. We get some classics from people like Sammy Davis Jr., Guy Lombardo, Kitty Callan, and other musicians of yesteryear. It's pretty interesting. Now, moving on to the fourth album, this one is called Domestic Landscape Activities by Wallpaper. It's on black vinyl with 18 tracks, and the overall sound of this record is lo-fi indie rock. It's very effects-based, and it sounds very personal and very underground. And although I think they went a little bit overboard with some of the vocal effects, it was still pretty interesting to listen to. And finally, the last record in the bunch is the Slime City original motion picture soundtrack. So basically, this is the vinyl record soundtrack to the cult science fiction comedy horror film Slime City, which came out in 1988. The record itself is on black vinyl, has 25 tracks, and overall the sound is synth-based horror that's kinda cheesy, kinda campy, and very low-budget 80s. I couldn't decide when I was listening to this if it was cool or just lame, but regardless, I couldn't stop listening to it. And now I kind of want to see the movie. All right, the next one we got is actually just a letter from Kellen Johnson. So thank you, Kellen, for sending this over. Now, to be honest, at first it was a little hard to read your message, being that the ink was very faint. But overall, I think it's cool that you're growing your record and cassette collection. And yes, if you're considering it, I would definitely encourage you to pick up the Audio-Technica LP60X turntable, which is the new and improved version, because they're great turntables to get your collection started off with. Also, the Micah PB42X speakers that you mentioned in your letter are also good active speakers that would complement that turntable very well. All right, the next album we got is Pixel Rust Music on CD and cassette, which was sent to us from Alec Lowry. So thanks, Alec, for sending this over and for watching the channel. So we got one blue cassette and one custom printed CD. The album has 10 tracks total, and the overall sound is EDM, digital, club, bass heavy kind of music. It's hypnotic and kind of gets your mind into a certain rhythm when you're listening to it, which is perfect for dancing. So keep up the good work. Alec. It's a cool cassette too. All right, now the next four records are also from Rod Rogers, and these are the albums It Looks Like Snow, Never Letting Go, Second Childhood, 
and the self-titled debut album, Phoebe Snow. So these are all records by Phoebe Snow, and I had never heard of this artist before now, but now I can't stop listening to her. Her overall sound is a good mix of country, jazz, and folk with excellent vocals to match. Her voice is very unique, and that's what makes this music really shine. It's a very distinctive, original voice that you can't really explain, you just have to listen to. All right, the next one we got is the EP Earth Burn Avenue by Adam Warren on CD. So so thank you, Adam, for sending this one over and for watching the channel. Also, I want to say that I think it's really cool that you've recorded and mixed everything on this EP by yourself in your bedroom studio. That's very ambitious of you, and I kind of know how you feel because I make all these videos on the channel by myself as well, so props for going it alone. Now, as far as the music is concerned, there's five tracks total, and the overall feel is folksy acoustic guitar music with a touch of grunge. And it even gets a little bit sad at the very end with the song Two Eyes. So there's a nice range to be found on this EP, and that's something I really appreciate. Also, as a side note, thanks for the guitar pick. Now I just need to get the guitar. All right, so the next one we got is another letter, this time sent to us from Nathan Stanley. So thank you, Nathan, for reaching out and sending this over. And since you already play bass and you're currently listening to the bands Red Hot Chili Peppers and Nirvana, I think it'd be really cool if you listened to the band Ohm as well. Although their sound is totally in a different category than Red Hot Chili Peppers, their bass lines are just as complex. So if you love bass and you're already playing bass guitar, I feel like you would love that band as well. Also, to answer your question about record shops, no, I have not visited Boo Boo Records in San Luis Obispo yet, but maybe one day I'll stop in for a visit and check them out. All right, now the next items we got are from Nico Beer. So thank you, Nico, for sending over all of this cool stuff. So first off, we get a vintage portable cassette player, two blank reels of audio tape for recording on a reel-to-reel -reel player, the album Hiko Ki Gomo by Yumi Arai, a ton of blank sealed cassette tapes, and finally some gummy bears from Germany, which were delicious. They were really good. Now I popped a AA battery into this cassette player and it does still work, but unfortunately I've noticed it has a bit of a high pitched tape warble sound and it doesn't seem to work well with type two chrome tapes. However, I still think it's a cool little player and I just like the fact that I can fit this into my pocket and I'm not dependent on the internet. So that's nice. Now, as far as the album goes, it's on black vinyl, has 11 tracks, and the overall sound is upbeat Japanese jazz that cleverly uses piano and guitar to create this overall warmth to the music. So basically, if you like jazz, blues, and rock ballads, you're gonna like this album as well. Also, to answer your question about my old reel-to-reel -reel player, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it fixed completely, and I'm still not sure what's causing it to sound like a lawnmower every time I fire it up. So I've basically just kind of retired it for the moment, but if I am able to find another reel-to-reel -reel player in the future that's in good condition, I might pick it up because honestly, I think the technology behind reel-to-reel -reel players is pretty cool, and I'd like to explore that in the future. All right, so the next four records we got are from Charles Ellis. So thank you, Charles, for sending these over and for watching the channel. And I'm glad I was able to reignite your interest in vinyl records. And most importantly, congrats on your new LP120. I know you're gonna love it. So looking at the first record here, this is the album Dusty in Memphis by Dusty Springfield. It's on black vinyl, has 11 tracks, and the overall sound is easy listening, classy lounge music with strings and great intimate vocals. Now, I haven't really listened to much of Dusty Springfield, but I really love her two songs, What Are You Doing the Rest of Your Life? and also Son of a Preacher Man, which are both outstanding tracks. So after hearing this album, I really wanna explore more of her work. Now the next record is the Christmas album A Festival of Carols in Brass by the Philadelphia Brass Ensemble. It's on black vinyl, has 13 tracks, and the overall sound is of course Christmas music and carols, but with a heavy emphasis on brass instruments. So French horns, saxophones, trumpets, and other stuff like that. Now the third record is another Christmas album simply called Merry Christmas from Audio Fidelity Enterprises. It's on black vinyl, has nine tracks, and the overall sound is simply just a pleasant Christmas record for the holidays. Nothing too fancy. 
And finally, we've got the most interesting record of all. So this is the album Company, a musical comedy from Columbia on a quadraphonic record. So I've talked about these kinds of records in the past, but I've never actually seen one up close until now. So this thing is really cool. Basically, the way this works is that in order to play quadraphonic records in their full glory, you need to have a decoder, in this case, an SQ decoder, and you need to have four total speakers placed around your listening area. Now, if you don't have all that, this will still play with your normal vinyl audio setup, including your normal micro groove stylus and cartridge, but you just won't hear the full effect. All right, so the last records we got are also from Rod Rogers, and there's some incredible stuff in here that I've saved for the very end. So to start things off, we got some really cool DVDs and Blu-rays here from The Carpenters and also from Shaw Day. As I've said many times, like a billion times by this point, I love both of these bands and I cannot wait to dive into these. Now, moving on to the records, the first albums we got are Aja and Katie Lied from Steely Dan. Now, I had I hadn't listened to them before, but I would describe their sound as jazz fusion and rock. And I would say that if you like bands like Pat Metheny Group, you're gonna like Steely Dan as well. Now next up we get this beautiful Carpenters box set featuring a ton of their most recognizable albums, including Ticket to Ride, Close to You, Carpenters, A Song for You, Now and Then, the Singles, 1969 through 1973, Horizon, A Kind of Hush, Passage, Made in America, Voice of the Heart, and Love Lines. So this is now the biggest box set that I own, and I cannot wait to listen to every single album and fall in love with Karen Carpenter's voice all over again. It's gonna be a heavenly experience. And finally, the last records we're gonna talk about today are from the visionary German New Age band, Enigma. This music is unlike anything I've ever heard in my life, but if I had to describe it, I'd say its overall sound is ethereal, heavenly, worldly, spiritual, transcendent, and just overall captivating. Once I put on that first record, I knew I was listening to something special. It felt like I was a bird soaring through the air at night, flying over a large city with all of the lights lit up kind of like candles. It was cool. It just took my mind on a journey. So overall, it's good creative music that just helps get you into the zone. It's really good stuff. And thankfully, Rod included nine Enigma albums, all on colored vinyl, in this package. So in the correct order, we've got 1990 AD, The Cross of Changes, Leroy Est Mort, Viva Leroy, The Screen Behind the Mirror, Voyager, A Posteriori, Seven Lives, Many Faces, The Fall of a Rebel Angel, and finally, Love, Sensuality, Devotion, The Greatest Hits. Also, sorry if I butchered that French right there. I suck at pronouncing things. Apologies. Anyways, Enigma is definitely one you guys should check out if you haven't already because they're pretty incredible and very unique. So again, a huge thank you to Rod Rogers for sending me all this great music. I really appreciate it, man. Now, what did you guys think about all these records and have you bought any cool records personally that you wanna share with us? Let me know down in the comments and if you love all things vinyl related but still haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and smash this red subscribe button right here and hit the bell notification so you won't miss out on the new videos. And most importantly of all friends, have an awesome day and keep spinning that vinyl.